Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, everybody's excited for these next generation consoles, but I keep getting asked what TV should people be getting for the next generation consoles? What TV will support the features of the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X? Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys probably don't know that in the beginning, in the early stages of this channel, I did a lot of TV coverage. Actually, I'm well versed in TV display technologies. In fact, I'm supposed to do a show this weekend. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna do the show to be honest with you guys. Due to this virus that's out there in the wild right now, especially in my city, it's kinda getting a little hectic right now and I might actually cancel that show. Anyways, today you guys are in for a treat. Like I said, I've been asked a lot lately, what TV should people get for the next generation consoles? So I'm gonna go through a list of TVs that I recommend for the next generation consoles. Now this is not gonna be as comprehensive as some of my other TV review videos, I'm just gonna give Give you guys you know the general idea of what TVs you guys should get I'll do a more detailed interview later on in the year maybe later on this month when some of these TVs start to hit the streets I'll start to give you guys some of the full breakdowns of the TVs and how they perform in a real-life environment nonetheless today we're gonna touch on what are the best TVs for gamers for these next generation consoles now first off I'm gonna start with the Samsung line of TVs now there's the TCL TVs which are good TVs but unfortunately they don't support 4k 120 20 Hertz HDMI 2.1 at this moment now I'm not quite sure if their models later on this year will have it but right now I'm just holding off on recommending those TVs now for those that are kind of budget oriented unfortunately this year you won't be able to have like an NU 8000 TV now the NU 8000 last year was a great TV it did 4k 120 Hertz it didn't have HDMI 2.1 though but it did have FreeSync and it did have a lot of gaming features now this year it's replaced by I believe the TU 8000 and that model does not support Support 4K 120 Hertz via HDMI 2.1. So although it does have the gaming features like FreeSync and all of these other features and auto low latency mode and variable refresh rate, it doesn't support HDMI 2.1. And that's what we're gonna need going forward with these next generation consoles. Now it doesn't make sense to buy a TV that's not gonna support these next generation console features because this is gonna be the template for gaming going forward. Naturally, if the consoles support this, PC is gonna support this as well, and it makes no sense buying a TV that's obsolete as soon as you get it. That's why I'm absolutely stunned that the entire line of 2020 TVs from Samsung pretty much doesn't have HDMI 2.1. The only TVs that are confirmed to have the full feature set of HDMI 2.1 are their 8K models, and who is buying an 8K TV for HDMI 2.1? I really don't recommend anybody buy an 8K television. First of all, the content that you're gonna watch on a TV is mostly gonna be 4K upscale to 8K because there really isn't any 8K native content out there. I know that the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X are advertised at 8K graphics, however, However, they're not going to be producing 8K 30 frames per second on many games. If any, it'll be like old generation games, perhaps the last generation. You might see the odd one, maybe like Ori and the Blind Forest. However, the majority of games on these next generation consoles will not be at 8K resolution, rather at 4K. Now let's first master 4K 60 frames per second before we jump ahead of ourselves talking about 8K resolution. Nonetheless, I think it's a waste of money to buy an 8K TV at this point in time. Now, the fact that Samsung is only putting 2.1 on their 8K TVs really is puzzling. It has me scratching my head, and I'm really disappointed in Samsung as they're one of the world's largest manufacturers, yet they don't have HDMI 2.1 on the majority of their TVs. Fortunately, it appears that the Q70T, the Q80T, and Q90T do have one port that is capable of 4K 120 hertz. Now that should be good for the next generation consoles, at least to push the frame rates, but nonetheless, it's disappointing that most of their TVs do not have the full HDMI 2.1 specification. Even the 2019 OLEDs from LG have HDMI 2.1, and not just some of the feature set, the full feature set, the full bandwidth. The B9 right now is your best choice if you're budget orientated it has the full specification of HDMI 2.1 it does 4k 120 Hertz it has G-Sync variable refresh rate auto low latency mode it has all the bells and whistles a low input lag and the best image quality you can get on any retail television in the market right now the C9 
is also a fantastic TV. It does have better processing than the B9 model. The C9 does have better upscaling. So if you're watching lower content like 720p stuff, 1080p, it will look a little bit sharper on a C9. Apart from that, both of the TVs are fantastic and a great deal for those of you looking for a TV for the next generation consoles. You can pick these TVs up right now. They're starting to clear these TVs out as the 2020 models are about to drop. Now, if you're waiting on a 2019 OLED model, I recommend the CX. Now, the reason why I'm not going to recommend the BX is because the BX is basically last year's C9 television. Now, it's probably, you know, a little bit more refined and they have added FreeSync to the television. However, it's still using the processor from last year. Now, it probably has an upgraded panel slightly, but nonetheless, for the extra money, I don't think it's worth it. I think you're better off getting last year's C9 model. Now, the CX has the better processing, has the better AI upscaling, and it does have FreeSync. So that TV, I do think it's worth the upgrade over last year's models. Nonetheless, if you're looking for a next generation television, and if you want to save some money, buy the 2019 models. If you're looking for the next best thing, I would say hold off and get the OLED CX. That will be a fantastic television. It will have all the bells and whistles, and that will hold you strong at least for the next five years. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about Samsung kind of omitting HDMI 2.1 from their entire line? What TV do you plan on getting for your next generation consoles? And as well, if you have any question on any of these TVs or other TVs, just let me know in the comment section down below. And like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.